Hi, this is Kaylee, and we're going to do the ray tracing for a convex lens. So a convex lens is thicker in the middle and thinner on the edges. And we're going to do two of them. One where the object is outside the focal length, and one where the object's inside the focal length. So we can compare the two. Our object is traditionally an arrow with the arrowhead pointing up, and we start off at the top of the arrowhead. Our principal axis is the line that the focal points are on. It should go through the center of the lens. And we always have this central dividing line through the middle of the lens. And this is a thin lens. And so that's going to be our approximation of where the light bends. So it's going to change direction right there. Actually, it bends at each surface. But for a thin lens, we can use the center as our approximation and have the light change direction at that central line. So we're going to start off with this. There are three main rays that you can draw. The first one is you draw a line from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis until it hits the center of the lens. And then it's going to refract and for lenses, there's two focal points. Just remember this. The light will always bend towards the thicker part of the lens. For a convex lens, the center is the thicker part. So this parallel line is going to bend down through this far focal point. And go off in this direction somewhere. That one is parallel focal point. The other one is focal point parallel. You can only use a focal point once. So now that we've used that one, we can't use it again. So I'm going to line up the top of my object and this near focal point and draw a line from the top of the object through the near focal point until it hits the lens. And then it's going to refract parallel to the principal axis and go off in this direction. Now, we already know where the image is going to be located. It's going to be located right there. You only need two rays to actually locate the image, but there's three that you can actually draw. And if things are drawn to scale, you can actually use all three. The third ray goes from the top of the object through the very center of the lens. If it goes through the center of the lens, it doesn't refract at all. It just keeps going forward. And if we get it all lined up right, all three should cross at the same location. And if that works, then that's where our image is going to be. The bottom is going to be on the principal axis, just like the bottom of the object was. And the image is going to be pointing down that direction. Let me use black to actually highlight a little bit better. So here it is. This is our image. So our image is upside down. In other words, inverted. And because it's that, these are actual light rays hitting here. And if the actual light rays hit, we are going to get a real image that can be projected onto a screen for everybody to see, sort of like in a movie theater. Now, what happens when we move that object inside the focal length? Well, you actually have another point on that's not drawn here that's called the 2F point. And as you bring the object in, the image moves out until you cross the focal point, and then we're going to get a virtual image. Let's take a look at one of those. Now we've moved the object inside the focal length. We're going to draw the same three rays, but there is going to be a little catch to them. So again, we start off at the top of our object and draw a line parallel to the principal axis to hit the center of the lens. And it's going to refract towards the thicker part of the lens, which means it's going to refract down and go through here. Almost missed. We're going to draw one from the other focal point. Now, since it's inside the focal point, what you have to do is line up the focal point to the top of your object. And then you're going to draw a line from the top of the object to it hits the center part of that lens. 
and then it's going to refract parallel to the principal axis and go off in that direction. Now you notice these two don't cross. So your real rays, the ones that are actual light, are not going to cross, at least not on this side. What happens, they will cross on the other side. So while I've got this set up, I'm going to go ahead and draw the virtual rays. Traditionally, we draw virtual rays as dotted lines going back the other direction. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first ray. Mark it back the way it came. We can even do the one that goes through the center of the lens. It's going to start here, go through the center lens, and head off in this direction. Again, none of these three cross. But if we trace them back, and I didn't do too bad of a job lining things up, they do cross right there. And so that's where our image is going to be. It's right here. Again, we use dotted lines. So that's our image. It is upright. And because it's on the wrong side of the lens, because light should pass through, it should end up over here, it's made up of those virtual rays. It's a virtual image. And it's magnified some. So this is your magnifying glass where you can read letters, make them bigger so you can see them if you're a little bit blind like me. So those are the three rays that you can draw for a convex lens. Just remember... Parallel, focal point, it will bend towards the thicker part. Focal point, parallel, and then center. You only need two to locate the image, whether it's inside the focal length or beyond the focal length. It's still parallel, focal point, focal point, parallel, and then through the center. And they should all cross where that image is going to be. Thank you very much, and tune in again for some more optics and physics. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tune in for more lessons. Goodbye.